Hey Church, Michael here and welcome to this week's update video. I've got a few things to share, so let's just get right to it. Number one, we are back. Last Sunday was our very first Sunday morning experience together for I don't even know how long. Yes, it was a soft launch focused more on getting our volunteers ready and kind of allowing them to tweak and nuance what we needed to tweak and nuance in order to be, be ready for our hard launch on October 3rd. But it was so good to be together and minus some of the hiccups, which I think we all knew were going to be there. It was a really meaningful time, but don't take my word for it. Here's somebody who experienced it sharing in their own words. You, you caught all of that, right? It was a really good time and I'm excited for this week as we're back at it again in our soft launch mode, figuring out some of the details. Thank you for letting um, yourselves be the guinea pigs in this uh, season of us trying to figure things out. Your feedback has been great. Your participation has been great. And remember, you need to pre-register because the deadline is Thursday night. So if you have not pre-registered, you need to do that. You can go to themeetinghouse.com and follow all the steps there, or you can go to our newsletter and follow the link. Get yourself pre-registered, get yourself set up. It's going to be so great. And it's gonna be special because this week we are focusing on the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, also known as Orange Shirt Day. It's sort of the Sunday before then, so we want to hone in and celebrate our Indigenous friends, but I'll talk about that next. Yes, as I mentioned, this Sunday we are going to be priming up for September 30th, which is the National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, and we want to celebrate our Indigenous friends, and we also want to hold in tension the reality that as a settler nation, we have experienced a very different reality than they have. And so we want to partner our celebration of their culture also with uh, the reality of, of mourning and grief and, and allyship. So we invite you to bring or wear your orange shirt. It doesn't have to be the orange shirt that we give you, gave you. We would love for you to wear that if you can, but it can be any orange shirt that you've got in years past or if you just have an orange shirt lying around the house again it's a visual way of us saying we acknowledge the reality that every child matters we acknowledge that reality we will get into a little bit more on sunday and it will help to shape our time together but i am excited to be doing it in person uh, because i think it just allows us to be that much more real with one another uh, and so it's a gift it's a gift all right, before I shut this down, I wanted to speak briefly about the vaccine passports and how that applies to our context. Some of you have wondered, okay, hmm, you know, we meet at the Gibson Center and they are an event space. So as a church meeting in the Gibson Center, what, where do we land on that? The answer is because we have rented out the entire event space, the entire Gibson Center for that time, we are operating as a church within the event center. And so therefore we do not have to follow the government restrictions or we're not, we don't have to follow. There are no government restrictions for vaccine passports at the church. So you don't have to worry about that on Sunday. Uh, just come, uh, remember do the pre-registration and get all of that set up. Um, and I am looking forward to seeing you. So have an amazing rest of the week. I am thrilled to do our awkward high waves from a distance, smiling under the mask. All of that awkwardness is worth it. So yeah, let's do this. All right, everyone have a great week. Bye.